Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this new webinar organized by Johan Cruyff Institute, in which we will talk about fan engagement. Today, we will present to you a very innovative proposal, which goes further in the relationship that can be established between fans and sport. This is Gemma, your host for today's session. It's a pleasure to have with us to Sunil Bardouage, founder and CEO of Global Talent, and Ferran Martinez, a former professional basketball player, a legendary player for Football Club Barcelona, among others, and an Olympian with the Spanish national team, and co-founder and chief sports officer of Global Talent. I'm sure that most of us can list different formulas that sport clubs or entities use to monetize their fan engagement. But what about the other way around? Can fans capitalize on their passion for sport? Can they capitalize on their support for a particular club or athlete? Well, it seems so, and Sunil and Ferran are going to tell us how. Good afternoon, Ferran. Good afternoon, Sunil. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, just, uh, just a few items before we get started. Uh, if you have any technical issues, we will be happy to assist you through the chat tab located on the right side of the screen. Uh, you can type your questions in the questions tab, also located on the right of your screen. I will address them to Sunil and Ferran after the presentation. So, guys, over to you. Whenever you want, you can go ahead with the presentation. Thank you, Gemma, for your introduction. And it's our pleasure to be on board in this uh, webinar by Cruyff uh, Institute. And uh, it's, uh, it's our pleasure to, to talk about uh, global talent and reinventing the, the fan engagement. So before we go deeper in, in, to talk about global talent, we'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the situation about uh, in terms of revenues, in terms of incomes, and in terms of how much our athletes are performing, how are getting in, in, in the last 10 years. Um, as, as we said, you know, this is a top high, high paid uh, athletes in the, in, in the last 10 years. And recently, I think yesterday or two days ago, it was announced that Cristiano Ronaldo achieved uh, 1,000 million uh, in revenues in, during the last uh, 10 years. So this is uh, an idea about how much are getting or, or performing in terms of uh, incomes, the top, the, 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 the top uh, performance athlete in the, in the world. But in terms of how you can invest in the sports, I mean, in, in these days, it's very complicated uh, to, to invest in sports. If you really ask yourself, how can I invest in sports? Probably you say, I have no idea. One option is if you are a millionaire, you can purchase an NBA franchise, for example, or football club or an F franchise but you know the price of a uh, NBA franchise the the, 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 la the last one was the Houston Rockets uh, deal that they sold it for two th for over two two thousand million of uh, USD so this is the you can imagine the, the the amount of money that you need if you want to, to invest in 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 the sport business however maybe you maybe can think that you can invest in a managing agency so Let's say that you are creating or building up a company that owns um, rights of some certain athletes in football, in basketball, in golf, wherever. You could, I mean, and you could make good money if you scout properly the, the right players. But this is quite complicated, to be honest. So that's how it came our idea. Ferran is a FC Barcelona former player one of the greatest basketball players in Europe in the 90s. I managed basketball teams in the past. So we've been, we, we, we have been scouting young players, like, uh, young prospects in different sports. And at the end, a lot of uh, talented players, they never achieved to become a professional player because they don't have enough financial support to carry on their careers. That's been that they quit and they can't carry on. So, the company purpose is to develop a platform that allows fans to benefit from their passion by buying and selling rights in the career of future sports stars. So allowing fans to be part of the careers of future athletes, we solve a problem of the need of fans that has a lot of athletes all over the world. We think it's not fair 
that depending on where you have born, you have more or less opportunities to succeed in your sports career. So now, if you have talent, you can uh, carry on your sports careers because you have a platform where you can fundraise money. I would like to share a video in terms of what we are doing that it will be much easier to understand. Imagine what would have happened if before Michael Jordan debuted in the NBA, you had invested in a percentage of his future salary or sponsorship. Now you would be a millionaire. In Globa Talent, we have put forth this wonderful idea into practice and we offer you a platform to invest in athletes or sports clubs that need financing. In exchange, you will get a percentage on their prizes, sponsorship, or any other right that the athlete or club is willing to offer for your investment. So this is an easier example of to understand what we are doing. Basically, can you imagine if you had the opportunity to invest in Michael Jordan when he was 16? So now, and now you would own a percentage of his incomes. So probably you would be a millionaire, as we are saying in the in the video. So we have explained the problems, but also the illusion. We have people who like sports, who are practicing sports, who are consuming sports that like or that would like to be part of the sports industry, and they don't have any option to be part of it. But now with Global Talent, they do. So it's like owning a, a share of an athlete, okay, or owning a share of the your favorite club, or investing in, in, in the sports industry. How does it work? We allow fans to benefit from their passion by buying and selling rights in the career of the sports stars. So imagine that a tennis player, 20 years old, 18 years old, that has been playing tennis for the last 10 years, Apparently, has a lot of talent. His family has supported him for the last 10 years, you know, paying coaches, travel expenses, everything. But now, has to travel even more around the world to be able to play ITF tournaments or ATP. And he's not good enough yet to get enough earnings. So he has to pay for all these expenses. But his family don't have enough money to support him. And sponsorship deals, you know, are very limited. So probably he will quit. Now, what we are proposing is, okay, why you don't offer 20% of your future earnings from 2023 to 2030 to those people who are investing with you? So sell that 20% of your future ATP price money from 2022 to 2030 for $100,000 or pounds or euros, whatever, okay, to the fans and people that would like to be part of this sports industry. So that's what we are doing. So you as a fan can invest in this young tennis player and hold a percentage of his future earnings. But also you can wait let's say two years, two and a half years until the tennis player becomes a professional uh, tennis player to get um, a, a revenue from the ATP price money. But what we have add, and that is the, the big difference, is that we have add a secondary market, which means that rather to wait two years until you get your revenues, you can sell peer to peer a digital asset that represents 20% of the ITP price money of the player. So you can sell this digital asset to another person. And you don't need to wait two years until you get your revenues. Or you want, or you want to wait. So you have different options. So this is how it works. Why now? Because sports industry has a big global market, over 600 billion per year. The sports industry is in the middle of a big process of transformations due to COVID-19. And the way the world consumes is changing continuously. We can see Uber, Facebook, of course, Instagram, TikTok, or Deliveroo, and other companies that has changed the way that consumers are consuming. 
new generations are consuming sport in a different way. People over 40, they like to go to a stadium, watch a game. People from 22, 23, probably they would like to see highlights or watch highlights rather to stay 90 minutes, one hour, one and a half in a stadium. So the both demands a digital tools to respond to these needs. And this is global talent. We are targeting a market of almost $300 billion because we are focusing on in football, basketball, tennis, golf, and cricket, especially in Europe. And we want to achieve in 2028 a $2.83 billion of the market. The product itself, as I explained it before, you can buy and sell rights from different assets or clubs but also you can trade it. On top of that, we have added um, an e-commerce eco e ecosystem, which means that you as a sports fan can purchase different goodies in our um, e-commerce e ecosystem, like Tennis Point, Partner, Netflix, Uber, uh, Golfino, and many others that they are related to young generations or related to sports with a big discount. And every time that you're purchasing in that e-commerce, you are getting points. Then you can redeem these points on that e-commerce. So let's say that you are spending $100 in tennis point. We give you a thousand point. And then you can change these thousand points in further purchases that you are doing in the e-commerce ecosystem. This is how we came the process of being able to be a neobank. So at the end, we are a neobank, uh, which is a digital bank that allows people to trade, to buy and sell rights in sports assets. So we are able to issue different uh, visa cards. And this is uh, our partnership as well with uh, Cryf Institute, where Cryf Institute, they will have uh, their own uh, debit cards that uh, will have uh, different uh, benefits, like no fee commission, no maintenance commission. You can withdraw money without commissions or fees all over the world. And also you will, you will be able to have a different benefits, okay, from different partners that will offer you to you different uh, discounts. So the idea on top of that is loyalty and uh, it try to benefit the, the, the real fan, the real supporter. Okay, with different advantages, as I said before. In terms of product development, we just launched uh, the app on Android. Next week is in iOS. Sports platform is ready. We've been li we've been live since February 2019. We have the sport marketplace where you can trade, sell, and buy. Uh, assets from different sports uh, athletes, and also the, the visa cards. In in terms of uh, future development, we want to add other actors in our platform. We are adding new partners that will sell sports ticket tickets or other um, related to to sports because we want to keep it very vertical in the in the sports industry. As a company vision, we are looking to achieve and become the first global fintech sports company that add together different plays, as I said before, relation with the with the sport. Okay. Sports need to change, and fans need to be part of this change. And to allow that, we need tools like Global Talents and many others that will come in the future. In terms of, of team, it's, uh, as I said before, um, myself and Peran that explaining that our experience in the sports industry for more than 20 years plus. Uh, Gabby Traban, he was the vice president of MediaTek uh, in, in Europe. And then Iñaki Cabrera, that he's the actual marketing director of Wilson Racket for, for Europe. I really appreciate your, your time we would like to open for questions because um, we like to be very interactive and you can ask us whatever you want to ask us.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Sunil. Um, so let's start with the with the first questions that uh, has arrived. Um, Federico is asking, how is the initial cost of the asset of a particular athlete? Okay. Well, the cost of the initial price is determined by our um, uh, uh, scouting system. Okay. So every athlete that is on board, we sell a, a percentage of the percentage of the income. So let's say that following the example of the tennis player, tennis player is selling 20% of the future ATP price money. So we issue, let's say, make it easy, 100 uh, digital assets, okay? So the total amount that the, the tennis player you want to raise is 100,000 uh, euros or, or, or dollars, whatever. So every digital assets has the price of one, one euro, okay? So, because you represent a percentage of the of the percentage that the athlete is selling. I don't know if you if it's clear or do you want uh, for, for so, the, for the Yeah, case. so it, it means that you can you can invest twenty dollars, hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Yes. It's up to you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh then Dagomir uh, asks uh, how many athletes and clubs are on your platform right now? And how do you attract the, the players? Okay, in terms of uh, athletes in our platform, we have ten players in our platform. We had, we have more than eight hundred athletes in our pipeline that uh, they applied to be in our platform for the last ten months. So we are analyzing which of them uh, we want to to have them on board. And in terms of how do we attract the players, we attract the players in different uh, channels. We attract them making partnerships with academies or sports federations. Okay, so they provide the best young prospects that need funds. So in this way, we, uh, we, we are guaranteed that they have the enough level because at the end, it's the proper federation who promote those, those young prospects or the, the, the academy. That's one channel. Second channel is uh, people who are getting on board through our website so we are promoting through different google campaigns uh, in, in with uh, related to young athletes if they need funds and the third one is our network we are people from sports industries we have our own network so we use also our own network to scout different uh, players and once that player is, is on board then it comes the figure that we call scout so the scout is a, a person that knows that is well well known in that sport in con concrete let's say in tennis or in football whatever that scout the player and if it makes sense what the player wants and if he and then runs the player and make an opinion if the the rank of the player is two or, or above out of five then we allow him to be on board or her whatever Mm -hmm. Okay, see, this is the process. <clears throat> okay, so it, it, uh, just to, to make it clear that uh, not everybody can be in your platform. So you are not a sponsor of uh, all, all, uh, all the athletes. The, the system does, is that uh, uh, there will be a selection. So you make sure that everything, everybody that is investing uh, is uh, in, a, in an athlete is, the, is because um, you can make sure that this athlete has a future in the industry. Yes, that's that's the idea yeah, because not everybody can become, you know, the next Rafa Nadal. I mean, mm -hmm. it's... okay. Um, Alberto is asking: uh, besides targeting the B two C channel, uh, uh, consumers and fans, are you also focused on attracting B two B channels, player intermediaries, or? uh football agencies for example yes we do um place intermediaries and football agencies or basketball agencies or tennis agencies whatever mm, they are partners with us and we are a perfect tool for them because you know they, they can they can offer this global talent to all the players that they represent so and they they, they are able to to fundraise some amount because you know Usually in the, in, the, in the managing agencies, they have a, a small percentage of the players that they are top players, but then they have, you know, another amount of, of, of players that 
they need some kind of of help or they are still young so we can be a perfect tool for them mm -hmm. uh, federico uh, says uh, how does the value of an asset appreciate is uh, is it only according to the income the athlete makes okay good question we in terms of appreciation the the price the initial price of the asset let's say is twenty dollars so then how it's appreciate or depreciate it, it it's appreciate in relation with offer and demand so we have developed an algorithm that fix the the offer and the demand but it makes sense that it, the demand it will increase depending of the performance so if the player is performing quite well probably the money will increase so yes probably the 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 price the, of the of the athlete it will increase if the performance of the athlete increase okay but it's determined by the off and demand mm -hmm. okay um also sunil uh, i think uh, it's clear that if, if i want to invest in a player or in a club for example i know how to put my money in but what about if i want to to get my money back can i can i do that or what is the system yeah the system works in the, uh, as follow so you are investing in a in a in a athlete let's say 100 dollars and now you said that okay now i want my 100 dollars back okay you don't have option to get your 100 dollars back while you have you have the opportunities to sell those 100 dollars to another user on the platform okay you can sell it and then cash it out okay because at the end it's an investment so it's like uh it's not like buying a shoe that if i don't like it i return it and at the end you are investing in a person mm -hmm. yeah okay okay um tell us something about the the people uh from the sports industry that uh, are helping you to to make this uh selection process for example i i know that you told us already that uh for example tony nadal uh is uh helping you on finding uh the, the young tennis players that uh, they are value for your platform so uh yeah we for example the, we have one tennis player david vega he was pranked by tony de nadal you know making an, opi an opinion about about him and you know saying hey my opinion about this player is this 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 and i write the player and also Sanchez Vicario make an opinion of the same about the, the same player. So this is basically how it works. You know, they record the video, they make an opinion, and then they they put it on the on the on the website of, of the play that they want to to record it. And for example, just recently, one of the um, our investors, uh, Javier Saviola, the the former FC Barcelona and River Plate and many other football clubs. Um, has become the, the head of global football scout of global talent. So he will select um, the best prospects in, in football that comes to our platform. So we are very happy to have him on board as well because, you know, he's, he comes from with one of the biggest uh, countries in, in, in terms of um, uh, football players and also knows perfectly the European market, has played in the best clubs in Europe. So. Uh, it's, it's a perfect fit for us and we really appreciate uh, his implication in global talent so he will he is the, the actual scout for for football around the world mm -hmm. okay um another question uh guillaume says uh, do you provide tools to us i mean he says investors in order to follow the performance of those uh relatively unknown young athletes and better evaluate them yes uh, when you go to the platform you can go the bio and uh, first we have one tool which is the the validators or scouts okay so as i said before people from the sports industry that make an opinion so in terms of evaluation you have this tool in terms of uh, follow-up we provide information so every investor that invests in a in David Vega, for example, uh, uh, he they get the information related about his earnings. For example, David Vega is offering 18% of the ATP price money from 2022 to 2030. So from 2022, you have the financial information that uh, you make sure 
that everything which uh, he's earning is true. That's another thing. And the third thing is that we haven't added yet, but we are adding now a channel between investor and and player where it's like a, a, a channel communica communication where you can ask some kind of information if you need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, Alina uh, says, uh, do you anticipate more tennis players approaching you with asking for financial help through the platform? And looking at how the tennis world gas, uh, was uh, impacted by the current uh, crisis, your platform can be a lifesaver for many young players professionals. Yes, so, uh, since COVID-19, we have noticed uh, an increase of demand of information about global talent over 300%. Uh, percent. Not bad. And yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at the end, as Alina says, it's it's complicated for, 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 for the sport in general, but even for younger, but for younger people even more. So, yes, we are approaching them and asking them for, for if they want to know more information. And yes, it's a, it's a good point, uh, Alina. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a good solution for, for, for them. I, I'm always saying the same. Not everybody can become a professional tennis player, but at least if you have talent, now you have a tool to become. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, Valid says, uh, thank you for your time. Hopefully your platform will have uh, success. Uh, are you opening outside Europe? <clears throat> yes, we are global. Our um, uh, customers are from all, all over the world. We have in Asia, we have in Europe, in the East, we have in uh, Latam as well. So we are global and in terms of in terms of customers and in terms of uh, B2 athlete or B2 club, yes, we are. We are talking now with some clubs in Argentina, with some tennis players in Argentina as well to, to be on board. And uh, so we, we are open. Talent is not limited to where you have born. It's global. Uh, Sam uh, says, uh, have you guys considered um, uh, utilizing your platform for US uh, college athletes uh, who at, at, the, at the moment are not are unpaid for their universities? Yeah. Um, hi, Sam. Yes, I mean, uh, regulation in terms of NCAA is quite uh, rare right now for the time that we are running. But recently they changed a little bit. So they allow now uh, NCAA students or players get uh, endorsement deals so that's it's a big change okay and probably more change will come in the next in the next month or in the next uh, yes yes we keep an eye in the states states is the only country all over the world that uh, we don't operate and the reason of that is because uh, SEC regulations are not clear in terms of our situation, no, our situation in this, our business model. So until they don't fix the, the regulation or our lawyers uh, understand that is 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 safe and and it can be done, we don't uh, uh, perform in, in, in states. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, are you thinking on um, adding new sports to the platform? Yes, we are open to all the sports, okay. But we, at, at the face of this, comp uh, at the face of the, of the global talent or the stage of the global talent, we were narrow, narrowing our um, our goals because we wanted to be to make sure that we could offer the best of the best of ourselves. Mm -hmm. But yes, of course, we are open to other sports, and we have a different comp um, conversation with uh, national gov government bodies. In, in 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 golf and uh, also in F, in driving and motorbikes. So yes, we open to a different sports as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, Sunil, if you can um, explain us how is the exactly the process because I'm not sure. I, I don't know if uh, we have some uh athletes uh, that uh, are attending today the the webinar that could be interested on on getting in your platform what is the process how can they contact you 
uh, what do they need to do? Yes. Uh, basically, they just need to go to our um, website, uh, doc, uh, globaltalent.com, and click on raise funds. And our, when they click on raise funds, if they are an athlete or they are a club, they have different uh, pathways. So if they are an athlete, they click, I am an athlete. And they will start to fill in the, um, a form. And once they have filled in the form, we get in contact with them saying, oh, thank you. And we will ask more information. Okay. So right now, anybody can go to the website, ask for raise funds. And then when they has filled in all the information, it goes to our scout department that will analyze the, um, the proposition and then we'll contact back to the athlete or the club related to to the to the information uh, uh, sent it to us so th this is how, how it works but however any of the of the um, people who are in this webinar can contact with with me directly or with ferran no problems so i will type my email and they mm -hmm. can contact uh, directly, and they don't need to go through the through the through the website. Of course, it's it's not a, a problem. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, and also uh, the other uh, part of the of the the project is uh, as you as you told us the 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 credit card, the Visa card. Uh, that uh, I think that it's also very interesting because uh, okay, maybe they are not interested in investing. Uh, but uh, but I'm sure that uh, all of us are, are uh, buying goods, uh, sport goods. So, and if you can get um, an advantage, uh, it's also uh, interesting to know how how they can uh, ask for the for the for the card. It's very easy. They can go to our, um, our website, download the the app. And uh, when they, they download the, 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 the app, they can apply for the for the visa card. The visa card is is free. We don't charge. Uh, no commission. If some of our audience know Revolut or Monzo, is, they are very similar uh, in terms of we you can withdraw money with uh, all over the world. Any ATM, uh, you can do it with no charge. You can purchase any item with no charge, of course. Then you can uh, withdraw money, as I said before, with no charge. The, you can deposit money with no charge. You can deposit money with a credit with another credit card, or you can deposit money with a, a, a bank transfer, whatever you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, security, this is an um, e-money license, so it's uh, backed by the European Bank and the Bank of Spain as well. So the, the money that you deposit is, belong, is, de is deposit away from uh, Global Talent. We don't invest that money. We don't uh, borrow that money. That money is always be, it's yours. You have $10 or 10 euros, you have always 10 euros. We don't use this money for any other stuff. We are mm -hmm. not allowed by law to use it. So this mm -hmm. is a very important thing because you never will lose that money. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So then you can spend with like a, a normal Visa card all over the world to any merchant and the good thing that we are doing is that we you if you, you your mates are using global talent as well they can uh, you can uh, split payments you can transfer money from one user to the other user so it's very useful in that, that thing and then finally everything that you are using your visa card we are giving to you points so let's say for every dollar that every euro that you spend, we give you ten points, and those ten points you can spend it to any in any of our partners, okay? And uh, we have different partners in our uh, GBT uh, world, so you, where you can spend in, in Netflix, in Uber, in Cabify, Tennis Point, uh, Golfino, and. Uh, uh, Aliexpress, so many, many partners, okay, and new ones that we are adding in the in the next weeks. So basically, like we pay you to to use your debit card, okay, because we are concerned that maybe some of you now don't want to invest in any of the assets for any mm -hmm. other reason because none of them you like it or you don't have money to invest. But at least we would like you to be part of the of the community. Exactly. Okay? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and then uh, what are the, the, the benefits that you receive if you want to uh, support a club, not an athlete? But, because okay. I think it's a little bit uh, different, right? Yes, it is. E, a club. A club, what they are issuing is a digital asset that represents, for example, the right to choose or the right to vote for the official jersey or the right to vote the um, most valuable player of the game or the right to to participate in a webinar with a coach or with another player so uh, at the end what is what we call fan digital asset it's an entertainment asset that allows you to be part of the club taking some kind of decisions also a club special football clubs can have what we call a fan and economic uh, fan, uh, fan digital uh, economic uh, digital asset which is which has the same rights as i said before plus economic rights like for example 10 percent of the future incomes of uh, transferring play of the right of transfer players so a percentage of the transferring rights of the player okay so that's mean that at the end if the, if the club is transferring 10 millions in in transferring players you are getting a 10 percent of that 10 million i mean you the the, the person who invests in mm-hmm. that 10 owns a percentage of that transferring rights mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's a big a big difference <clears throat> with with the athlete but this is still it's monetizing fans reinventing fan engagement and allow fans to be part of the of the club no away of the club yeah 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 for, for sure you are reinventing fan engagement because i I've, I've never heard such a solution to to get uh i mean all the sport fans involved in 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 the industry because okay you are a sport fan you can you can buy a ticket you can uh, uh, buy merchandising but you are always paying you are not getting um any uh profit from from an industry that that it's uh every time bigger and bigger so i think it's a very interesting uh platform and uh yeah i congratulate you guys because yeah i think it's a very good idea <laughs> thank you very much we, uh, we always say can you imagine a sports industry without fans no I mean, no way <laughs> it's impossible <laughs> Yeah, no way, no way. Okay, Sunil Ferran, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, I think we don't have uh, any more uh, questions. So, yes, thank you uh, for joining us today. Um, And, uh, yeah, I wish you all the best uh, on your uh, project. Thank you very much. And we really appreciate um, your invitation. (laughs) and the time sharing with us thanks very much okay okay thank you thank you and uh, thanks uh, also to everyone for participating uh, we just you, we leave it here uh, just to remind you that uh, in the next few minutes you will receive a link uh, with the webinar with the webinar recording that you will uh, you can watch again if you like and uh, as always um, we will keep you updated on new sessions uh, through our social networks thank you very much for joining us and see you soon bye bye